Dean, a dramatic late equaliser, magic of the cup. What are your thoughts on that performance? I thought we were outstanding. I have to be honest with you. I didn't think we deserved to be 1 0 down at half time. I watched the goal back at half time. He's two yards offside from the initial, the Doyag they've hit, the lads on the right hand side, it's like two yards offside. So, really poor decision from the officials. So, Idris was constantly fouled the whole game. And obviously, warnings and warnings and warnings. I think Jacob's a good referee, and I thought he managed the game better second out referee. But from my point of view, an air team, to stop the rock was so important. Obviously, the kick in the teeth we had last week. And uh, now we've managed to do that ourselves and flip it around. And we could have won the game. I think we had, we must have had 20 corners, did we? And I think they had one. Um, with a lot of dominance with the ball. But one thing about Coco's teams, to be fair to Newport, they defend their box really well. They made some unbelievable blocks in the last few minutes and the last few phases of the game. So you have to give them credit. That's what they're about. Um, but I thought all in all, it's good. The boat was in the hat, so it'll be a replay in there. I'm delighted for our supporters. I know it's been difficult for them. Um, the last few weeks has been difficult for us all. But all in all, I thought uh, we at least deserved to draw it out again. My performance was, uh, was strong. Just going on to that first half, I thought it was a, quite a level level game overall and then to get to concede that goal right on the edge of half-time, what was your message to the group going into the second half? It was frustrating really, just, oh, oh, look, we just spoke about how we could continually overload them in wide areas, um, obviously against a team that liked to sit in, they've got good, good pace on the break, there was a big moment in the game actually, second half, Laurie made a good save on a turnover and that was offside as well, because I was right in front of that and that was clearly offside and the line I missed that as well, and Vogel got in one-on-one, -on -one. so that was sort of their Apart from that goal, that was their best chance. Um, but to come here against a team that are very physical, they rely on a lot of restarts, how they play, they're very well organised. To only give them one corner, I think that's a, a lot of dominance, really, in possession, without having the killer punch. And in the end, we got it, we got what we deserved, uh, which was minimum a draw out of the game. No, you say we've got, got that goal in the end, and obviously coming to a, a League Two League Two side, and obviously that's where our ambitions are to, to get there. It was a great performance from this group of players. Yeah, yeah, we've got character, we've got togetherness, we've got belief. We didn't come here in Hoofer, we showed bravery, we showed courage. We moved the ball through midfield really well. I thought Danny Collins was absolutely immense and outstanding. I thought he was the standout player on the pitch today. Um, and he led by example. He's a real leader, Danny. He's got, he's got captain writ all over him. Um, so, yeah, I thought he was outstanding. And, um, yeah, it's. Uh, I think the team, the biggest thing for the team was to stop the rot and show that character. We've lost the last four second halves. Um, and today we managed to win one. I spoke about that at half time. So little details like that, little little targets for our team, bit by bit. Um, yeah, bit by bit we'll, we'll improve and get better. But it could have been easy for us today to just, you know what, not come here and not be brave and not show courage and just say, Do you know what, we'll come here for a draw. We didn't. You come here, you see how we played. We played expansive, played a normal game, showed tons of bravery, and uh, I think we, we got our rewards. Obviously, it's now a replay, another another fixture added to a very congested fixture list for us, but also in the hat for the third round for tomorrow. Yeah, both clubs will be, yeah. Look, this you need a little bit of luck in the cup. Um, and the main focus for us now is to recover, and we've got a massive game again next week in the FA Trophy against Maidstone. We'll focus on that, and um, we'll, we'll debrief like we always do on Monday morning with the players, and uh, we'll treat Maidstone with the same respect we gave Newport. So, um, look, I thought it was a decent game today. Um, and we definitely deserve the draw out of the game, performance-wise. But the main thing for us is it'll be nice to watch the draw tomorrow and see what happens, see what the reward will be for it, the replay we'll play. But it'll be a difficult game once again. And finally, 226 fans come up today. Obviously, a, a very cold into South Wales. What's your message to them? Uh, I'm delighted for them. We heard them say they're singing there at the end. We're in the draw for the cup and stuff like that. So I'm delighted for them. We've had a tough time. We had a really tough time last week. It was a difficult one uh, in a game where I didn't. I didn't feel we deserved to lose. If anything, I felt like we were going to go on and win the game when we won it up and, and, and sort of two one up and win the game well. And then obviously against them, um, against Oldham, I thought we were excellent for 61 minutes. Um, Gateshead, we were not it against Chesterfield. We were a good first half, but I thought we did really well today as we kept going, we kept believing in our philosophy, and uh, we played some really dominant football. So I'm delighted for our supporters. Dean, well done, and thank you for your time. Cheers.